Someone on the Rainbow Loom Facebook page requested for a tutorial on how to make a dog, a poodle in particular. So here's my take on how to make a poodle on the Rainbow Loom. To start off, we are going to place the bands for the top of the head. Our loom will be in the standard offset configuration where the pins are staggered. And just to highlight the puffy hairs on the poodle, we're going to use pink for those sections. And the rest of the poodle will be in, in white. So let's start with these uh, pink bands for uh, the puffy hair on the top of the head. And then for the face area, we're going to use white. I'd like to remind you that we are placing the bands from the top to the bottom. I do this in most of mine. And then for the figures. neck, we're going to use three bands for added strength. And then we move on to the chest area, which uh, in most poodles uh, has a uh, puffy hair. And we will be using double pink bands for these bands on the chest area. From there, the rest of the bands that we will be placing will be white. Take note that we have placed three rows of white on the left and the right side. And on the center, we place two rows of and then white. Then we will place double bands diagonally from this pin to this pin and we will do that on the other side as well and to finish it off we will be placing three rows of white bands double white bands for the legs And then we will cap these two uh, ends here with uh, white capping bands that are looped uh, four times onto this end pin. One, two, three, four. Let's do that on this pin as well. One, two, three, four. Those will be the, the paws for the dog and also the capping bands for our design. You may want to pause the video now and check to see if you have the same layout. The next step is to place horizontal bands to hold the piece together and also to define the shape. This technique is discussed in detail in the Shark Tutorial on the PG's Lumacy channel on YouTube. And uh, for the horizontal bands, we will be placing double looped bands for the narrower areas, like the face. And then we will be placing single bands for the wider areas, like the chest. And then for the, the belly area, poodles are known to have very uh, slim... Uh, bellies 
we put double loop bands. We simply twist a band to itself to form a double loop and place it on the pins in, in a row. Another double loop band for this section over here. There you have our horizontal bands in place. You may want to pause the video and compare your layout with the one on the screen. Before we loop the bands we have to make the legs. And poodles have very thin legs so we will not be using the technique learned in the basic action figures tutorial. Instead we will be using this technique. The first step is to wrap a single band onto a hook four times. And I prefer to use a fine crochet hook for this purpose. One, two, three, four. And then I get a, another single white band. I twist it and fold it to itself to form a double loop. And I loop that. Onto the first band we have on the hook. This is an advanced uh, project and it will test your dexterity, but this is the only way I can see to make a uh, finer appendages for our action figures. I will be using this technique for most of the Disney princesses that I am designing as of the moment. And you will be doing this four more times for a total of five bands forming the leg of the poodle. Fold the rubber band to itself and then loop it onto the band before it. It helps to stretch the, the band before using it so it will be more pliable as you're working with it. For the other leg I will show you how to do it on the loom uh, and you might find that uh, easier Twist it, form a double loop, this is just a, a basic single bracelet design and the only difference is that we are uh, using double loops instead of the, the single loops for the bands. And there you have it, the leg for the poodle. For the other leg I would like to show you how to use one of the pin bars on the rainbow loom to form the leg. But we still need to start with the first step, as in the other leg, and that is to wrap the, the, a single band onto the hook four times. One, two, three, four. And then we loop a band onto itself to form a double band, and then we thread that through the, the first band on the hook. Okay. And once you get that, you will place the band on two pins, like we do with the, with the fishtail and the simple bracelet design.
okay and then all you have to do is place another single band that is looped to itself on the two pins and then just like in a fishtail you take the, the lower bands this way and then bring them in to the middle and then you do this again okay forming a, a double loop and bring the bottom one in the middle okay. form a double loop and bring this one in the middle need one more form a double loop and bring this to the middle okay then take it out of the loom There you have it we have the other leg so it's up to you uh, what technique you would like to use it's, it's uh, the same result uh, some people find uh, doing it uh, like uh, crocheting uh, or some people want to use the loom so it's up to you what technique you would like to use there is one more thing we need to do before we start looping the bands and that is to make the snout and so to do that, we wrap a black band or whatever color for the nose that you would like to use and wrap it four times onto a hook. And then you will get two white bands and just loop those onto the black band and then you will get this horizontal band that we placed earlier and string it into that white band on the snout and then replace it on the pin where you got it from and then I want to show this to you you get the the middle of the band here and place it on the pin where you got it so the snout area will look like this before we loop the bands so now we are ready to loop the bands and from here it will just be like looping a typical double triple bracelet. So we start by digging out the, the band from underneath the, the capping band and then loop it to its forward pin. Then the, these diagonal bands will be looped to the middle and then we will 
loop the rest of these bands up to the, sh the shoulder area in the same way as we do with the double triple brace bracelet. When you loop the, the leg part, you have to take it out of this teardrop shape over here. Or, as an alternative, you could wait until you get to this part of the loom before you place your legs. It's up to you what order you would like to do that. The next portion we will loop will be the neck area. And now we will be looping these diagonals, whichever one is on top. It's this one. You see that teardrop shape over there? You know that um, you are doing it right. Same for the other side. Now you loop the one on the center. Okay. When you get to the top, you, before you loop these two um, side bands over here, you get the, one, the, the end, the top end, and place it on the middle pin. You get the top end and place it on the middle pin. And then you loop them. You loop the bottom end to the middle pin. And you loop the bottom end of this one too to the middle pin but before you loop this center band you take two single bands and then twist them or loop them to themselves and place them on this pin over here And this will form the, the puffy hair on the top of the poodle's head. And then after that, you go for the center band. And then loop it to the middle. You may pause the video now and check to see if your work is the same as the one on the screen. Now all we need to do is to secure these end loops with a single band. You don't need a C-clip, all you need to do is loop this onto itself to form a knot. And then you are ready to pull your project off the loom. I usually help it with uh, the hook at the start. And as soon as that thick top layer of bands is off the loom, I just pull the whole thing off the loom.
Okay, just make sure that they are secure before you take off the, the hook. And then you pull the the snout outwards. To make the eyes, you get a a single rubber band, and you tie it into a knot. A uh, a fine crochet hook is very useful for this. I don't know what technique you will use. The purpose is just to tie a knot in the middle of the band and then you do it one more time. Okay. And the knot actually becomes the eye. To attach the eyes to the poodle, you will dig out. Remember the 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 horizontal uh, bands that we place to hold the shape together. These will also hold the eyes. So insert your hook from the back of the head and above this horizontal band you get one of the loops from the eyes and then pull it to the back and then reinsert your hook in another section of the back in another loop not in this not in the same spot where you pulled out the first loop but in another spot just reinsert the hook and then pull the next loop the second loop into the face into the head and then pull it out you see you want a band or several bands to be holding the eye so that even if kids play with the piece they won't be able to pull the, the eye off it will stay in place okay so make sure a band or several bands is holding this eyes that we just placed let's do it on the other side okay and now you get a C-clip and secure these four loops uh, at the back of the head. And now we fish out the eye. You use a hook or you could use a pair of tweezers to pull the knot out of there and then pull it back in until only the the knot shows in front See? and you could just press it in depends on how big you want your poodle's eyes to be if you want them big you pull them out if you want them small push them in okay and then you fix the you fix the snout Make sure these four bands are together, probably pop.
pile them on top of each other to make the noise pointier. Now let's work on the ears. The ears and the tail will be made in the same way. Again, you will wrap a single pink band four times onto a hook and then thread a single band onto that pink band and then tie that into a knot until you get this. So now we attach the ears and the tail. You go to the, the side the side of the head and fish out again the the horizontal bands that we have running in the in the middle of the piece you get your ear and then you just tie a knot in there and then reinsert that horizontal band and then go to the other side, fish out that horizontal band again, you get the ear, and then you loop it onto that horizontal band. There's a lot attached to that horizontal band. And then you tie a, a knot. Okay. And there you have the ears. And you may want to just reinsert it there and then to insert the tail just go into one of these bands over here or maybe two loop the tail piece tie it pull and there you have the tail. Now all that's left to do is to fine-tune the, the shape of the poodle. For the legs, just, just pull them out a bit and then make sure they're, they're not like uh, flared like that, but they're like meeting in the middle. And the way to do that will be to pull the bands in and out as needed like if I pull this out this way if I pull it out this way it's gonna go towards the middle if I pull it out this one this way it's gonna go towards the middle then you could add pink bands that are looped three times by the paw areas and then you could add a, a collar to be looped twice And you, you fix the, the shape. I think your new best friend is just about ready for a walk. 